Welcome back to our channel. This week is kind of a bonus video. We are stopped over in Billings, Montana on our way to Glacier National Park. If you saw our last video, we were in Theodore Roosevelt. I'll put a link up here if you didn't get a chance to watch that video yet. We had the most amazing time looking for bison and wild mustang. So before we head all the way to Glacier, we're doing a little stopover in Billings to do some provisioning, take care of some work stuff, as well as get some important mail. And we realized when we got here that Billings is actually pretty cool. So we decided we would go out and do a little exploring this morning, probably about half a day. There's a couple different things to check out. And the first one is this really beautiful hike up to an amazing viewpoint over the city. So we're gonna do this two mile loop. Check out this view. How many mountains to get some confidence? How many debates to earn some tailwind? The years pass, I'm still the same. What will it take? Why the way up and down? I'm losing ground Pretend to tell me what to believe I ain't got a sweet tooth for lying Pretend to show me how to succeed My wallet is spreading thin oh, ooh, 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 what to do I am me and not you Ooh, ooh, ooh what to say Please make the string go away Okay, we're just finishing up on this hike. It's definitely something you can do in sneakers, but there is a point as you go down further that's actually going to take you down to the uh, river itself if you wanted to go all the way down. That area is very steep. It's very loose, rocky gravel. I, I'm not sure that I would go down that in just sneakers, so we actually didn't. We, we stopped kind of halfway down and turned back around. It's really like the falling yeah. loose gravel below you. But we saw a bunch of families actually doing the hike and but they had proper shoes on. So <laughs> it's definitely something you could do. This area is known for its falcon nesting. Unfortunately today we didn't see any, but on a good day you might actually get to see a beautiful falcon flying through the air. Next up we're gonna go over and see some ancient pic pictographs that are in a cave here at the state park, so let's go over there. What to say? Please make the strain go away, pretender. Just don't ask me like I give anything else to try. Okay, we made it to the area where the pictographs are. It's a 0.3 mile walk out on paved walkway, which is really nice. We're gonna go into the caves and check these out. The oldest pictograph in this cave system is over 2000 years old, so that's really cool. Pretty easy walk up to it. Seems like you get up here no matter what. This area is really stunning with $8 to park. That is a state park entrance fee. It's good for the whole day. Any state park we go to, so. Awesome, let's go check it out. The storm is coming, but I'm prepared. I'll be gone for a while, but don't be scared. Right now, I don't know if I'll ever. Where the grass is green, we're 
left the state park. That was a very cool little area. If you just wanted to go on the paved section up to the caves, you can, and you can take a look at the pic pictographs. Otherwise, there's like another little path that you can take that's um, stone that goes up to another cave, which was really cool to check out. We've now driven about an hour from Billings back to kind of the direction we came in the other day. And we're at Little Bighorn Battlefield National Monument. We actually hadn't had this on our radar to do, but as we were driving from Theodore Roosevelt National Park, we happened to see the signs for this and realized we were very close. So we thought we would come and check it out today. It is, of course, raining because that's just our luck. <laughs> Anytime we plan to do something outside, we're probably not that well prepared for it, but that's okay. We're going to go and take a look. This has definitely been um, the most COVID restricted situation that we've been in since we've been in Montana. Um, you have to have a mask on at all times, even though it's outside. They have put cones at every other um, parking spot so that people will stay that six feet apart. Um, but as always, we're going to be very cautious. We have our masks ready. We have our hand sanitizer ready. And we're going to go out and check out this monument. So let's go. done. Of course it rained the entire time we were out there. I've gotten used to that by now. Um, yeah, it was really an interesting thing to see. I really liked that they had the gravestones where actually the soldiers had fallen. I think it gave a really unique perspective of the U.S. soldiers kind of coming up the side of the landscape and having the Native Americans at the top you could actually see and kind of envision what that battle experience probably looked like. So really interesting if you're in the area. If you're driving by, actually, we realized this would have been really easy for us to kind of pop off on our way from Theodore Roosevelt to Billings. There's a ton of like big rig parking, like there's class A's and all kinds of stuff. We definitely could have come in here and just parked explored and then kept going on to Billings. So if you're passing through the area, there's definitely enough room for you to, to do that. So we're gonna head back now to Billings. We have an hour drive back and we are then going to get some food. We're really excited about that. And um, we actually last night went and picked up some beer from a few different breweries throughout um, Billings and uh, should be good. So let's go back to town now. Well, unfortunately, what we planned to eat, of course, was closed. It seems like a lot of restaurants and different things are closed in Billings on Sunday, which is fine. So we ended up going with this sort of Asian fusion, which would let you sub in tofu for any of their meats. So we're going to dive in and we're going to check out some of these beers that we got from the breweries here in Billings as well. So let's check it out.
I ended up going to PJ Kitchen, which is like an Asian fusion place. I got cashew tofu. You got... Uh, uh, tofu teriyaki. Yep. And they have these really amazing Brussels sprouts that we got as well. And some really, really good miso mm -hmm. soup. We haven't had good miso soup in a while. As I mentioned, yes, that yesterday we went to a couple of the breweries in the area and we picked up some beer. We went to um, 30 Street. Mm -hmm. Thirsty Street. Thirsty Street. Thirsty yeah. Street. We drank that yesterday. <laughs> and then we went to, where else? Uber, Uber Brew Beer. Yep. And then we went to a cider place. Well, what's the name of that? Last Chance uh, Cider Mill. Yes, and I think they actually bring stuff in from multiple places. This is not like theirs. Mm -hmm. um, this is Orchard Run, so they're bringing that in um, into the area, which mm -hmm. is really cool. And then we also went to a distillery, and we got Lemon Vodka Moonshine which we'll see how that goes. I'm thinking a little rosemary, um, and that's going to be really delicious. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try this. I'm going to try a Scottish ale from Uber Brewing. And I'm going to go with their uh, the Uber Brewing uh, wheat beer. Cheers. Thanks for joining us this week in Billings. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss out on one of our adventures. Next week, we'll be accidentally attempting one of the hardest hikes we've ever done, and I might be taking a nap on Lake McDonald. See you then. Bye.